Okay guys, wanted to do a follow-up video on the X-H2 compared to the GFX 50S2. Uh, as the video you've seen recently, I had use of the GFX 50S2 along with the kit lens for about a week, but unfortunately with the gloomy weather we're in right now in Michigan, didn't get out as much as I want, but I did get at least one day with some sun and wanted to go out and compare and this right here is actually my S, uh, 100S, but same body style as the uh, 50S2, and this is the X-H2. Wanted to compare these two. And so what I did, I coupled the uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens on the X-H2, and then I had the kit lens, which is 35 to, um, 75, 35 to 70 millimeter on the 50S2 to kind of get me in the same range when it comes to comparing some images. So let's get right into comparing these images. Okay, so as we go to the computer and we take a look at two images, here's a close up. On the top, we got the X-H2. On the bottom, we got the GFX 50S. Uh, folks want to know how well they compare to each other. You can clearly see I am punched in on this 100%. Uh, from the original file for both and as, even though I have great detail and we're gonna punch in even further on both Even though I have great detail on the X-H2. I I think The comparison between it and a GFX medium format sensor is Is what it is. It's a APS-C sensor with 40 megapixels giving you great detail allowing you to crop You look at my Y. It looks great but when it comes to the medium format, 50 megapixel, and I, I think where we don't want to get um, excited about is, is that is that 50, that number of the megapixels, this, this larger sensor is just taking in more data. I got more data in here. You see all of the detail that I have in here still. Even on the end, I still show that detail up. This is 100% on top of already, uh, uh, actually I think 200% crop. As I bust down one more level on this, again, that, that large medium format sensor is holding its shape, uh, or I should say holding the detail, allowing me to crop. Look how far in guys I am. Mean, and you can clearly see on the X-H2 that yeah, it's doing a great job but it's definitely not got the sharpness in detail. Uh, it definitely doesn't have the color rendition, uh, uh, rendition that the um, 50 megapixel uh, G, the, a lot of 50s, right? Uh, um, the GFX 50 S2 has, I mean, I still retain a lot of great color in here. It looked richer from the beginning. Look at that, why that's there as you compare it to, yes, I still have great detail when it comes to the um, the X-H2, and if you had the X-T5, you'd still be looking at some great detail here because it has the same sensor. So you can do a lot. So it is it is awesome when it comes to what the X-H2 can do, uh, but when comparing it with the 50 megapixel medium format sensor on the GFX 50 S2, even with the kit lens, which I really like the kit lens, I prefer the 32 to 64 lens more because it has a solid um, f4 aperture all the way through the zoom range. And I mentioned that on the previous video, you just get again a lot more quality. So we'll go to the next one. So this is X-H2 on another shot. And uh, as I try to not bring in everything, sorry about that. Here is the, uh, and we'll go back on both. Here is the GFX on the right. Here is the X-H2 on the left. Again, richer colors. Um, it captured colors a lot better on the medium format than it did on the X-H2. And now I tried to match these settings up as much as possible. As you guys see from the metadata here, you know, I'm at 1 20th of a second here. And because of the light and the fact that it is medium format, I had to, I had to go a little lower, which was great on the uh, GFX 50S. And I had to um, play with my aperture as well to be able to get a, a somewhat similar photo. 
but as we as we crop in and I'll go in 100% on both and I'll go in 100% on the XH2 file I have detail on this XH2 file again it's a little flat I can bring some color into this and try to match this let's see if I can bring up my saturation and that helped but yeah um again great look I got good detail here the 40 megapixels is doing this job uh but it's not competing with the 50. now if I had to do an even closer crop we're gonna say let's go back and this is my xh2 and let's go to the gfx so this is a hundred crop this is a hundred crop um let me bring this crop up even more i mean i'm at 200 percent and let's see how this renders um obviously my focus was a little higher but look at that detail this is at 100% and it's got the same level of detail, but when I go to 200, um, you know, I get trying to get these as close as I could. I see great detail in here, especially in the, uh, whatever this cluster of, of, I assume this is moss. Yeah, it looks like moss uh, right here. It's looking great, but it's just not comparing to the detail that I have in the media format, so. All right, let me just roll through a number of images I had. I had the camera to play with and I'll just show some XH2 images right now with that setup so you can see what I was able to do. And now let me show you some GFX 50 S2 images, walking around doing some street. I really love this combo. Here's those images. So there you go, guys. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these cameras. The fact that the X-H2 does give it a run for its money is just not there because again, you have a, a bigger sensor that you're dealing with, with, excuse me. And then for those who think, you know, medium format versus full frame versus APS-C, you know, honestly, I look at it and go, work with what you got. Take full advantage of the capabilities of the camera that you have in your hand. And right now I'm pretty stoked about what the X-H2 can do with that 40 megapixel sensor. I would be also stoked about the X-T5 because it has the same sensor. I would be ecstatic if Fuji does come out with an X-Pro3 with that sensor, uh, cause then it would be to me an ultimate uh, street photography setup, more so to me than the X-T5 and definitely the X-H2. Uh, and mostly with the X-H2 because of that lens. So there you have it guys. Let me know in the comment what you guys feel about my comparison. You know, it's the best I can do. Not 100% scientific, you know, but I did want to see while I had the 50 in my hand, what it could do um, as compared to the X-H2 using what I hope to have been equivalent lenses and give me a equivalent focal length. So um, if ever I get the opportunity to have a 50 in hand again, I'll try it. Maybe I can do this with my 50R but there are some disadvantages on the 50R over the 50S2, which is at IBIS. Um, so there you have it. Enjoy, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like the content, guys. Keep hitting that like button, get my stuff in front of folks, as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's keep growing the channel. And again, have a good day and have an awesome holiday season. Later.